I got a story to tell about a roach named Rube with a high-tech shell Caught the trap late one night He got away fast, but he didn't feel right Nowhere to hide, so he started to run He's kind of a swat He's got a chip on his butt He's the roach with the most Ruffle roach He don't like the boast Ruffle roach I like his brother Reggie He's got all the edge Ruffle roach and Reggie Okie dokie, Reg. I'm going to give you the personality and career potential test. First question. Do you consider your present life active and meaningful or somewhat uh. unfulfilling? Check. Okay, would you describe yourself as angry, irritable, lazy, slothful, sleepy, slow, dull, dim, and grouchy? Grouchy? Check, check, check. And double check. Okie dokie, Reg. We'll just feed your answers into the old Robo Data Analyzer. <laughs> Not a tickle. <laughs> huh? <sighs> According to the career chart, you fall into the category of complete loser. <laughs> loser, me? Ha! Do you fall into the category of complete loser? Huh? Is he talking to me? Uh, yeah, I think he's talking to you, Reg. Yes, I'm talking to you! Would you be interested in earning tons of respect and heaps of sweaty cash? The cash definitely interests me. Then spend just one week at Terry Tordini's School of Hypnotism, and you'll have a new career as a master hypnotist! Fame and fortune guaranteed! <laughs> Guaranteed? Yeah, yeah. He's kidding, right? You think I'm kidding? I don't think he's kidding, Reg. Kidding? Are you kidding? He's not kidding. You're not kidding. He's not kidding. Oh. <laughs> well, for crying out loud, would you stop crying out loud? Uh, I can't. Help it, Reg! It's your first day of hypnotist school! You're growing up so fast! <laughs> uh, let me go, I can't breathe! It's your graduation day! <laughs> I'm so proud of you! <laughs> okay, that's good enough already. And now, it has come time for the presentation of the Tardini School of Hypnotism's highest award! The Amazing Tinkler. In all my years, I have never before encountered a student with such an aptitude for deception, deceit, and big-time bogus behavior. This year's winner of The Amazing Tinkler is... Reg Roach! Yeah! And so, we say goodbye to Reg Roach, and hello to... The Great Reginini! That's my brother! He's got a tinkler! <laughs> Ladies and gentlebugs, presenting the great Red Janini! Your name is Andrew Antberger. You live at 22 Silverfish Drive, and you'll be 32 years old next Tuesday. Wow, that's amazing! Off you go, Andrew, like a good little zombie. 
Thank you, thank you. The great Red Janini thanks you. Reg, what is this big box of wallets doing here? The wallets are growing very heavy, very, very heavy. You will drop them, and in the future, you will ignore all signs of larceny and wallets. Oh, Reg. <laughs> You can wiggle your tinkler all you want, but you can't hypnotize my super robo brain. You ought to know that, silly. Now, we've got to return these wallets to their rightful owners. Mm. See the great Reginini and his amazing tinkler. He can do amazing things with it. I'm holding already. Well, this is it, Reg. Your big, big break. A hypnotic television special which every buggy in Vexburg will be watching. Yes, every buggy. I'm so proud of you, Reg. You have fabulous fame and a vast fortune and a pretty decent dental plan. What more could you want? Everything. Wh wh ah. What was that, Reg? Did you say everything? No, I didn't say anything. Oh. You wouldn't have an ulterior motive by any chance, would you, Reg? <laughs> you wouldn't be planning to use your amazing hypnotic powers to attain your own self-centered, self-aggrandizing, self-interested, selfish goals, would you? You wouldn't... It's for you, Roop. Chief of Police sounds urgent. Hello, Chief. Hello, Robo Roach. We have a situation. It's an emergency of an unspecified nature. Please hurry. I'll be right there, Chief. Boy, he didn't sound good at all. Sorry, Reg, I can't be your assistant tonight. Do you think you could help yourself? The show must go on. <laughs> Reg, you are a true professional. <laughs> and now, you in the studio audience and all of you out there in TV land, will experience for yourselves the mesmerizing force of the amazing Tinkler. Listen carefully, all of you, all over Vexburg. Oh. The next time I tinkle the amazing Tinkler, you will believe you have just witnessed the most hypnotic exhibition of hypnotism in the history of hypnotic hypnotism. The very next time you hear the amazing Tinkler, you will regard the great Reginini as your king. You will come to him bearing gifts of every description. Huh? That is the most hypnotic exhibition of hypnotism in history! Thank you. Thank you very much. It turns out there was no emergency at all. So how was the show? I'll bet it just kept getting more and more and more exciting until the inevitable explosive climax. Am I right? Right as rain, Ruby. Well, wait till you get a load of this. And now a message from our sponsor, the great Reginini. You see what I did there? Uh, you tinkled on television? Exactly. <laughs> now just wait. Hey! It's a chocolate chip, Reg! Somebody threw a chocolate chip through our front window! It worked! Now they're throwing money! Stupefied stooges! Keep it out! Whoa! Ow! 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 Okay, that's good now. Ow! Stop it coming! Stop! Ooh! Stop it! Oh! Ow! Maybe just how about paper money? Ow! Uh. Ow! Okay! What's the matter with you mesmerized morons? Spell's over now, that's good! I'm tinkling here! I'm tinkling! Roop! Uh. Whoa! Whoa! 
isn't loud enough. They can't hear it. You're right, but what are we gonna do? I've got an idea. Now, wow. Reg, this time you're gonna use your hypnotical powers for good and not selfish reasons, right? Uh. Yeah, right, right. That's a spirit. Citizens of Expert, the next time you hear the tinkler, <laughs> You'll forget all about the adoration and the stupefied gift giving and the <laughs> cash. You will never again seek to serve the great. I can't believe I'm saying this, Reginini. Reginini. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Did my chocolate chip? He's got my money. Mine too. Get him! Get him! Now that's what I call a de-tinkling. Why, all the time, Reginini! <laughs> I got the whole house to myself. I got the... Ah! Hey, what are you parasites doing in my chair? You know the rules. Nobody sits in Reg's chair but Reg, and those authorized by Reg. Now beat it, hit the road, clear out. <laughs> what do I gotta do to get rid of these maggots? Hmm? Hey, what's that? Dear Reg, be careful not to leave the back door open lest our little darling sneak out, sign. You know who. <laughs> oh, yes, heaven forbid our little pests sneak out. We sure would want that to happen, would we? <laughs> would we? Ooh. I'm back, family. Daddy's home. And I've brought special treats for you-know-who, from you-know-who. Now, where are those little rascals? They're usually so glad to see me. Have you seen them, Reg? Seen them? The little guys? Me? No, have I seen them? Oh, uh, no, no, not me. <gasps> the vast door is open! My little darlings have gotten out! They have? Well, Dickens, how do you suppose that happened? <laughs> This is awful. Where, oh, where can my little mites be? <laughs> Rube, never mind that. Have you seen my wallet? <laughs> Will you calm down already? I'm sure they're fine. They'll come back on their own. And it's all my fault. <laughs> well, now, hold on there. Actually, now that you mentioned it, it was uh, <clears throat> my fault. You left the door open? Yes, I admit it, okay? I left the door open and not completely by accident because they were hogging my chair! I see. So you let them get out. Okay, you're up, you're, 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 you're upset, right? And you're not talking to me now, is that it? Because I've done such a terrible thing? Is that it? Well, that's fine, I like science. The silent treatment is fine by me, boy. You, but you'll see. You'll talk soon. Boy, will you talk.
Come on now, Ruby, it's not healthy. I mean, at least try to eat something, okay? I mean, I, I gotta be straight with you. You, you look really crappy. You see, he won't eat, Doc. What's the problem? What's he got? Your brother is suffering from a rare form of separation anxiety, for which there is only one cure. Really? I'll try anything to have my big, fat, old, annoying little brother back. You have to find those lost pets. But how? They could be anywhere by now. I mean, <laughs> unless... Hello? Vexburg Daily Dirt? I'd like to run an ad. Have you seen these missing mites? If so, contact Red Roach immediately. Someone you know misses them very much. I mean, why bust my hump tearing all over town when I can con others to keep their eyes peeled for me? <clears throat> Any minute now, that phone will be ringing with good news. You see? Ha ha! Search headquarters, Red Roach here. Hello, Red. This is your old friend, Mandible Lictor. Mandible Lictor? Just calling to say how happy I am to sink my teeth into these problems of yours. Although I'm not sure what wine goes best with lost little pests. Um, can I get back to you, Mandy? <laughs> I got another call here. Uh, search headquarters, Red Roach here. Any sign of them? No, Reg. Ah. But they won't get far. Ooh. Wah, 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 widow, widow black. Like most husbands, they shouldn't be too hard to catch. I got another call, yeah. Uh, uh, search, search, Roach. Reg headquarters here. Please tell me you found them. Negative, ah. but I am sure that my smart bumps will blow them into easy to find bits. Smart bumps? Oh no, is this the <laughs> exterminator? Affirmative. I will hunt. And capture these future peeps, dead or alive. No, no hunting. I've changed my mind. I'll find it myself, okay? Exter exterminator? Hello? Are you there? Is anybody there? <laughs> oh, that's great. That's just great. Now I got three murderers looking for them. Lucky for us, we know those little fur balls better than anybody. And we know all their favorite hobbies and their stupid hab I mean, their great little fun habits. We can use that to our advantage, right? And you know how much they love to mull my good sneakers, don't you? Huh? Ha ha ha. Sure you do. Hold still, hubbies, while I propose a toast on this, our wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> it worked! There you are, safe and sound! I'm a genius, see for yourself! No! Wait, no! No! Oh, oh well, at least she missed the mites. Okay, that was close. We're on the right track. The bait is working. All we gotta do is keep baiting them. <laughs> you know how much they love to sit in my chair, don't ya? Sure you do. Now let's sit back and watch the genius of old Reg completely unfold. It worked again! I am a genius! Look, Ruby, there they are! And here I am, about to enjoy a three-course meal. Mandible! No! <laughs> okay, that was close to... I have... Uh, the perfect final piece of... Uh, dust my bait! It's a big risk, but if anything happens to my TV or those little parasites, I'll never forgive myself. Aha! Ha! Hey, there they are! 
I have found the pasta la vista babies. The exterminator! No! Ah! Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> At least he missed <coughs> my TV. <laughs> I'm sorry, Roop. I did my best. And if by some miracle they do come back, I promise you, I'll never mistreat them or yell at them again. Well, good night, pal. And good night to you, my little dust mites, wherever you are. <laughs> hey, Roop. Roop, look, look! Look who's back! Dust mites! You're back! Yes! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to see ah, you! Ah, Ruby! You're back too! Ah! Oh, you, you, you know, I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but I... I, I miss you, you big goof! Thanks, Reg. Now that we're all back together, things can return to normal again. Hey! My wallet! Empty, cleaned out wallet. Why, you little... Now, Reg, aren't you forgetting something? Remember? Why me? Oh, you. Why all the time? <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>